Welcome back everyone. This weekend's 4th of July parades featured a good number of volunteer fire departments and numbers are something departments across the state are struggling with the number of volunteers. It's forced some departments to now think outside of the box and has even gotten the attention of state lawmakers. When firefighters and paramedics rushed to the scene of a fiery and deadly crash in Racine County last month, immersed in the chaotic response were volunteer firefighters. We have a bunch of state highways we cover. We cover the interstate. Tim so Allen we'll is the Union Grove Yorkville um, Fire Chief. A dozen of his firefighters and paramedics were unseen that day. They've spent a lot of time on the interstate, which is part of their jurisdiction, all as volunteers. We're relying on that we're going to have enough people around 24 hours a day to answer a call if it comes in. Do you? Um, for the most part we do. Um, do we say we always have the ideal number of people around? No. That answer isn't unique to Union Grove in Yorkville. Ask any volunteer department across the state, they'll tell you the same. The requirements keep going up, the call volumes keep going up, and people just don't have enough time to give 100% that they want to give. This summer, Chief Allen is trying something new, offering to pay for daycare in return for covering a shift. The goal is to keep and recruit young volunteers. These folks, these men and women in their communities are paid less than teenagers working fast food restaurants. Mark Cohen sees the challenges every day. He's executive director of the Wisconsin EMS Association. We're starting to see it, as I said, with um, services, a service at least, not being able to respond to a call. I know there are other services that have cl literally closed around the state. And state lawmakers are taking note. A proposal working through the legislature would offer a series of new tax credits between $300 and $600 for firefighters and first responders. It's just something to try to keep people around. Um, here to say it's going to be a, a, a big a big incentive to save people, I, I don't know if it will or not. The fact the conversation is even happening is something, but it could be too little too late for some. It seems from what you're saying it's chipping away at a larger problem. That's exactly right. Union Grove Yorkville, like others, have talked about the what if. What if volunteers run dry and communities are forced to fully fund fire services on their own? Both of our villages realize we want to try to stay volunteers as long as we can, and if we can't, there's a big cost increase for them. And they, they're, you know, they're trying to toe the line and keeping taxes in line and keep everybody happy and deal with the budgets that they have. Federal data shows nearly 80% of fire departments in the state are volunteer. The legislation has bipartisan support. If passed, volunteer firefighters and first responders could see up to $1,500 in refundable tax credits, which includes education and mileage reimbursements. Next, robots and automation displacing jobs, why a new study says Wisconsin is well positioned to survive it.